I'm Gricker, this is Pete Green Mega Man 5. More specifically, this is Dr. Light's Lab, because I have a bunch of pills, so we're gonna... Maybe we can buy some stuff. I've already got those... Totally recharge energies. Sure, I'll take one. Sounds good to me, man. Why not, you know? No, I've already got one of those. Yeah, I can't carry any more. Uh... You know what, I used up all of my... Ooh, 70 pills. Yes. But I used up all my Neptune Man power fighting the previous boss. So there we go. And, let's see how much a free guy costs. 50. I'm gonna buy two of these. I've only got the one boss left, so it doesn't matter how many free guys I've got. Yep, I know one. Thank you! Alright, we are... No, I've already got... Yes, I'm finished. Thank you, Dr. White. Now we go back to Uranus Man's level. So I guess I do need that weapon in Pluto Man's stage. Which is crazy, because I needed Pluto's weapon in this stage. But you know what? Whatever. I will cry about that some other day. El Toro! Let's go! Yeah, this level, it had some cool ideas in it, but... I don't think it was overall as annoying as Jupiter's level. Jupiter's level was not so crazy with the annoyances. Is this where the... I think this might have been where the thing... Oh, the energy tank. And I... And I used the energy tank recently, didn't I? I don't think I replaced it. So there we go. Now I replaced it. I should have four now. Four is a good number of energy tanks to have. It seems like you take a lot of damage in this game. A, like, a lot more than a typical Mega Man game. Oh yeah, you. Thankfully I was in my invincibility frames there, otherwise I would have died when I landed on these spikes. I think this this is kind of an impressive sub-boss. I enjoy this guy. This guy's really kind of cool. You gotta pay attention to a lot of different things in this fight. Like shooting the Anubis statue in the face. I'll banana you. Yeah, I don't know what I meant by that. That's I'm sorry guys, I didn't I can't believe I'm gonna die. Oh, more damage. I'm gonna fight the Anubis Godhead again. Whatever, I'll fight him. I don't care that much. Alright, blown up again. I'll just take all the damage in the world. Pile it on, dude. You know, it's just, uh,. That was a head slapper. That was a head slapper. Right there. That was a, a slap your head moment. And I. Yeah. Anubis Godhead statue. Man. I don't think I really had a choice to avoid that hit. That hit was kind of a, a foregone conclusion. And I can't get my clobber arm to latch on for some reason to that guy's face. Yeah, that weapon's kind of a stinker. It's kind of, it doesn't work all the time, and when it does, it's, I mean, it's not very reliable, so... Ugh. And after this, I've still got to go back to Pluto's stage to get the, uh, crystal there. And then probably to Dr. Light's lab. Word. Kind of weird that it doesn't let me go back to the first four stages, though. I mean, you kind of think that there would be some kind of mechanism for that. Not that there's any real reason to, it's just that's... You, 
typically how Mega Man games operate. Rush Coil, jump up here, get my pills. Cause I kind of want to get 70 pills so after this level I can recharge if necessary, but yeah. I just hope I can make it to the boss this time. That's where the uh, crystal was through that wall, so I need to go back in there. Come on. I don't like monsters that have invincibility frames for absolutely no reason. Those are just annoying. Aha! How'd you like that? That was like a smooth ninja moves there, man. Um, cool. Free guy. And some pills. <sighs> That's where I died last time, wasn't it? I got hit in that hole or whatever. That was kind of a crazy fight. I want to go under this. Uh, you guys, he spends way too long on Vincible. I don't think I need, no, I don't need any, so, yeah, whatever. Those seals have way too many invincibility frames, I'm sorry, that's just how it is. I knew there was going to be another one of these cats in this game. And now my platform is smaller. Yeah. Still kind of, ooh, like clobber arm worked that time. Still kind of a cool mini-boss. Most Mega Man mini-bosses are kind of lame, and this one... Really enjoy it. Oh, I don't need to jump on... I can hit him like that. Okay. Hit him from the ground. That makes that fight a little bit easier. Yeah, you thought so, punk. You didn't realize I was awesome. Word. Up the ladder. Here's the boss. Almost there. Alright, let's try... Let's start with Jupiter's weapon. Against this dude. This duder. The dude guy. Oh, he's gonna throw blocks at me. It is his weapon to get through the blocks. Nope, didn't work. Let's try Saturn's. That just bounced off. That did not work. Let's try Pluto's. There we go. This is a crazy fight, though. Alright, well, Pluto's weapon wrecked him, but it's kind of like Topspin. There's no way to use it while avoiding damage. Gotta go back to Pluto's level again. This will be like the third time I've been in Pluto's level. But I've got to get that crystal. But I'll bet anything that Uranus's weapon gets rid of those destructible-looking blocks. That's what my anus does. It gets rid of blocks. Oh, actually, my anus causes blocks. You don't need to. You didn't even know that. That was information you did not need. Yep, I knew it. It's gut guts man's weapon all over again. Deep digger. So Uranus gives you a weapon called Deep Digger. You get the Deep Digger from Uranus. That means you don't want to use the Deep Digger on Uranus. Okay, that's an awful joke. I'm out of here. Bye, guys.